Thousands of women nationwide have come forward in recent months claiming their breast implants are making them sick. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. For the first time today, U.S. health officials are calling for stronger warnings about the risk. And tonight, THV 11's Melissa Zigowitz spoke with a plastic surgeon here in Little Rock who says it was only a matter of time before the FDA stepped in. Yeah, that's right, Marlisa. I spoke with Dr. Eric right here. He tells me he sees hundreds of women travel from all over the world to have him take out their implants because they say they were suffering from unexplained symptoms. Well, anytime we're putting something foreign in our body, we have to understand uh, the risks that we're taking. Christy Jones had breast implants put in eight years ago. I'm a nurse practitioner and I never really even considered what the implants could do to my body. She says she started to experience health problems almost right away. Hair loss, I started testing positive for autoimmune disease. Jones decided to get them taken out this past July after a doctor referred her to Dr. Eric Wright in Little Rock. I really wasn't going into it expecting like this miracle uh, healing. She says most of her symptoms cleared up almost immediately. I mean, women all around the world have very similar stories. There's still a lot of research going on to figure out exactly why some patients that have implants develop these. Dr. Eric Wright says he sees patients like Jones every day. We usually do somewhere between eight to 10 a week. He says it's a strong warning the FDA is issuing against breast implants. You know, I think it shows that the complications women are experiencing related to these implants is, is for real. Wednesday, the FDA gave its most serious recommendation, saying manufacturers should add a warning highlighted by a box to the information given to women considering implants. The biggest is they want to inform the patient as well as physicians that implants are not lifelong devices, that they are man-made. And Dr. Wright says doctors would be required to inform their patients about other side effects, like pain, rupture, and rare forms of cancer. A lot of them will say that they weren't informed when they initially had the implants placed. Jones says she's one of those patients whose doctor never told her about the possible complications. But she's grateful something is being done so other women don't have to experience what she went through. Just like a surgeon would talk about their uh, to their patient about complications for any surgery, it should be addressed for uh, cosmetic reasons as well. Now, Dr. Wright tells me the FDA will take public comment from patients and doctors on the proposed guidelines before adopting them officially.